Hello everyone, my name is Alex. Uh, welcome back to the channel. This is a little quick video because for whatever reason I've been playing Space Engineers like crazy here the past couple weeks. So, this is the Shenandoah, a uh, ship that I built in my you know, West Virginia class um, line of vessels. So the West Virginia battleship is what we're currently working on. Uh, this is one that I created back in 2016, 2017. Um, it was released before the fun um, star station ship that everybody says it looks like. So I don't know who come first, but uh, I'm going through and, and making it uh, vanilla. Uh, so no mods. There was like uh, 40 some odd mods you had to have before. And uh, most of those are broke now. So I uh, was working on the rotating turret slash landing gear, and I wanted to add some suspension. So this is uh, version, I guess, 1. Uh, it's not going to be what I want to go with, but I did kind of want to show it off. So you have to have build vision to put a rotor head into a 3x3 suspension, and then you can put normal blocks on that. So the way that this thing works is if we uh, go into here, and uh, just type in piston. Um, I should be able to reverse this now. It, this could clang, because that one uh, did get rotated. So you're able to retract it. And then if we go to advance, we can stow the entire system here. Uh, again, this is not complete. This is just a shell. I wanted to make sure that it was going to work. Um, and then we'd have uh, the railguns be, you know, railguns. So uh, be six powering the ship. We've got enough reactor on this and batteries to do it. So let's put this back down. If I rotate this back out. So you'd come in for a landing. Uh, I'm simply here right now. I don't have enough thrusters to go into a planet just yet. But uh, we're getting close. Uh, mass is below 500,000 now, which is nice. So put them down. Uh, all this will be controlled by timer blocks. I think I'm going to go with one 3x3. Three three. Um, it seems to hold the weight okay. But I don't like how the the wheels want to still move. Um, if there is a way that I can actually lock those, lock those, that'd be amazing. So you'd bring those down, and I'm not going to lock them. But then we can go back up inside. If I can get up in here, and. You know, you're coming in for your landing, you're coming in a little hot. Boom. She comes back down. All that does work, and it's not a clangy mess, um, which is nice. But you can see that they want to move, so that's uh, not good. I, I wish there was a way for me to lock them in. They, they're off right now. Um, I don't know why they still turn, but uh, they do. I did try to connect the three of them together to make them a rigid body that only moves up and down. And that that doesn't work. <laughs> Let's just say that. It doesn't work. Um, but yeah, that's uh, kind of where we're at. So it does work pretty good, and you can kind of smash it. So Oop. I mean, that's pretty good hit and it hangs on so you know we need to fix a couple other things but <laughs> you know wheel blocks are being wheel blocks so I think I might be able to do some shenanigans with a last door set up to, to keep them straight so we'll see uh, we'll see what happens there but yeah just wanted to make a quick video kind of show this uh, you guys on Reddit, take a look at it. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.